Well, good morning again, LaDon. Good morning, Bahamas. On this Thursday morning, we're giving you your first look at traffic. This one coming in near the intersection of East Street and Wolf Road. This morning, I'm joined by Sergeant Crestonia Johnson from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division, who's giving you, on a slow Thursday, your look at overnight traffic. A pleasant good morning to you and a pleasant good morning, Bahamas. Well, over the 24 hour period, we have had 13 traffic accidents involving damages, two traffic accidents involving injury, and at this time, there are still nine persons hospitalized as a result of being involved in a traffic accident. Again, Sergeant Johnson, on a Thursday morning like today, for the general public, many persons are under an extended lockdown, and uh, we expect that their vehicles would not be moving for at least a 24-hour period. What advice do you offer to persons in urban areas like this where parking is limited? Um, how should they uh, adjust their vehicles, especially when emergency uh, vehicles like ambulances and others may need to uh, traverse those streets? What it comes to mind, straight off the top of my, of my head, is the fact that a lot of um, double parking that happens within this area, and we could be saw earlier that that affected some emergency vehicles from traveling throughout that particular intersection. Whenever you park your vehicle, you should provide for fluid flow of emergency vehicles, especially during a time like this. We know that during this period, essential workers are required to be on the street. So as a result of that, we're asking as much as possible. If you have to park your vehicle, number one, do not block a fire hydrant or a sidewalk at no cost. Do not do that. If, they, if you have to, park within a particular area, you're going to park in that area, make sure you're not obstructing anyone that's pedestrian traffic or emergency vehicles. So when you park, look out for fire hydrants, look out for sidewalks. As much as possible, avoid double parking. If you're on one side of the street and another vehicle is on the opposite side of that, opposite side of that street, as much as possible, avoid parking adjacent to that vehicle. And finally, this morning, we know that, of course, uh, many persons may still have to traverse the streets for emergency purposes. Again, remind us of those uh, emergency contacts that they need to reach out for. Well, right at the back of my mind goes to the 311 hotline. And later on, we're going to see uh, footage, some footage concerning the 311 hotlines and what it is exactly that they require of everybody who needs to traverse the streets. So just hang on and look forward to that. That excerpt with Mr. Fisher, and he's going to explain some things to you. So just reminding you as much as possible, if you need to traverse the street, only on a need-to basis, you can talk the 311 hotline. Reporting here on this beautiful Thursday on a complete lockdown for the morning edition, Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.